Yo, what's up guys? Make sure to check out my Patreon community, link is down below in the description to get all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit points guys. And also make sure to check out my Bybit affiliate link to get up to $4,100 in bonuses if you're depositing more than 500 bucks guys. And with that being said, let's start with the video. Alright guys, so quick update for Decentraland. As you can see guys, Decentraland looking quite strong right now. We are moving with Sandbox, with Gala, not Gala Games, man, Gala Games not moving at all right now. But Decentraland is definitely moving with Engine Coin, with Sandbox, with BTC also. BTC also going up at this point, guys. And um, if you missed my price prediction on BTC, you can also check it out on my YouTube channel, guys. But for now, for Decentraland, I would say... Um, you can see we had a very clear breakout above this resistance right here, guys, around $2.50. First of all, we saw this fake out below this resistance again, and then finally a perfect breakout. And we flipped this resistance again into a new support, guys, around $2.50. And right now we are just going up at this point. So um, we are already up. Let's see from this previous low around one dollar and seventy cents, about sixty percent already, guys. Like Sandbox also. So the central is definitely looking quite strong at this point. And um, even if we are seeing a pullback right now, I would say as long as we are able to hold above two dollar and fifty cents, guys, and we are not breaking below this key support area right here, I think there is still some upside potential to about three dollars, guys this area right here around three dollars is definitely in my opinion the biggest resistance the central end has to take out to get a potential new run up um if you are if you are taking a look for example at the rsi you can see that it's definitely looking quite overextended right now so there is definitely a potential pullback like i said maybe to about two dollar and fifty cents and then maybe we'll see another continuation towards the upside and then we can also take a quick look for example at the 200 daily moving average guys you can see it's also acting right now as a huge resistance right here perfectly and we are currently retesting this area so um also guys what i want to show you real quick in the daily time frame for example also very important like bitcoin also i mean we've been trading you can see right here guys in this downtrend channel for about two months already for the central land since we topped out around five dollar ninety cents and you can see right here in the last um one or two days we saw finally a clear breakout and we are finally breaking out through this downtrend channel right here. As long as we're able to hold above $2.50, guys. And even if you are seeing a sideways consolidation over the next couple of days, let's say between $2.50 to about $3 or so. As long as we're able to hold finally above $2.50, guys, I think sooner or later, the central end is most likely going for another huge run up to about first of all um first target is three dollar and fifty cents and the second target guys for the central end in my opinion is at approximately four dollar and thirty five cents so um let me just clear the chart real quick guys so if you are taking a look at the four hour time frame you can see right here this is definitely the biggest resistance we have to take out this range between three dollar to about four dollars or so this area right here guys i mean we've been holding this support for about yeah one month actually guys for about four weeks we've been holding above this key support area and i think a lot of people are still stuck in this range and that's why you have definitely to expect a lot of selling pressure coming in for the central end if we are approaching to this area somewhere between three dollar three dollar and ten cents or three dollar and twenty cents again guys so definitely make sure that if you are reaching this area again that um you can definitely expect like i said already some selling pressure for the central and because of because of all the people who are currently sitting in huge losses and are just waiting to get out of their positions guys because i think most of the people just don't want to take the risk honestly and they want maybe just to um just to um close their long trade for example um maybe with about 15 percent in loss and just not to take the risk that the central is getting rejected again right here at around three dollars or so and we are going down again and they have to hold their backs maybe for the next couple of months or so that's why make sure to definitely take a look at this resistance around three dollars guys